Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. We're here to do your fourth weekly installment of love relationship readings for the month of July. So all of the July videos have been posted, including the four weeklies and will my ex return and top secret. All right. The overall energy in your reading is Treasure Island. Woohoo, Pisces. I like that. Pisces, you have lots of water around you. I love it. All right. So let's see what else we have for energy for Pisces. All that glitters is not gold. It could be spray paint. <laughs> so we'll see though. You know, sometimes um, these cards really you, it makes you think that they're going to say one thing and then the message that comes out is like something spectacular you never expected round and round okay feels like a merry-go-round so there is some something is happening here that has to be resolved okay so let's look and see I will read this like a romantic relationship however take it as it resonates with you be it boss friend know somebody that you're close to um, parent sister brother so let's look at this what is a mutual energy between Pisces and their person the mutual energy between Pisces and their person of interest the person for whom they came to the reading to ask about okay I'm gonna take these I'm gonna take this one Ooh, Emperor energy Aries Aries in the house three of swords ouch do swords ouchie 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 that's Libra energy okay we have the full card Aquarius energy okay we also have the five of cups okay so this is the energy you mutually have so you might be separated or broken up or there's heartbreak going on um, how your person sees the two of you together moving forward is a fool card, but we'll have to check to verify that that's both of you. Sometimes people just go off and think about themselves and not someone else. So Pisces, we see your person feels that they view you as someone who is no longer interested in the relationship, someone who is dissatisfied. The five of cups energy is Scorpio energy. Okay. Ooh, look at how they feel in their heart space. Pisces, your person is in love with you. This is a Two of Cups card in the Rider Waite deck, traditional tarot. That is a bride and groom. All right, so you have one, two major arcanas. Wow, this is very intense. This, we will check to see if this is a third party situation because that can be the case. All right, so how does your person view the situation moving forward? Small plans or a small offer will be made to you. The Page of Pentacles, though, is the beginning of something that's stability. Oh, look at this. The mutual energy between the two of you is the Ten of Cups. That's Pisces. You've arrived at your reading. Pisces, Pisces, the Ten of Cups. Look at this is a happily ever after card. A couple who are really, you know, holding themselves, they're just cuddling, and these two little children over here. So it really speaks to wanting a traditional relationship and possibly children. All right, so what is the current um, energy as you end this period of time? What is the energy as you end this? this end of July period. What is the current energy? What is the current energy? Okay, we have eight working on the relationship, but look at, we have somebody's taking somebody for granted. So working on the relationship, there's soulmate energy, but there is this feeling of I'm bored. You know what? I want more. I need more. I'm working. You know, we have this good connection. So what the heck is going on? Okay, so let's look at the outcome. The outcome for the end of July. I will say this, uh, when we do predictive work in, a, in a Tarot, it can take zero to six months. It's typically the lifetime of a reading for something to unfold. Um, and for the collective readings, they're really all timeless because it's so many different energies. All right, so the outcome. Ooh, ooh, justice card.
The justice card can be a lot of different things. Well, first of all, we know it's a Libra energy, so it's balancing the scales. The other indication that whenever I see the justice card as a professional reader, I always think of legal paperwork. The kind of paperwork that, you know, if you're going to rent something, buy something, apply for a credit card, check your credit score, you know, it's paperwork. It can be a marriage license. It can be the initiation of a divorce process. It can be a prenuptial agreement. So it, it's very much, in a, at the mundane level, usually very practical action. So let's look. This is really kind of exciting. I like it. There's a lot here to like, and then we'll figure out what the thorny cards are all about. All right. So the Emperor card, the Emperor card, the Emperor energy is take charge energy. And if you notice that Emperor has a big chess piece in his hand, so he always has moves to make. So let's see what, why that is here in your past mutual energy. What plans or what moves are you planning to make? This Aries, we have Mars and Aries coming up for six months in the near future. Two of emotions, we have repeating energy. Two of cups, two of cups, love, love. Temperance card is clarifying the two of cups, meaning that you want to work things out, that it's going to take a, a fair degree of patience. Um, that Sagittarius energy, it's going to take somebody getting free most likely because Sagittarius is about freedom. The Hermit card indicates that there is Virgo energy. The Two of Cups is Cancerian. Okay. And um, so what I'm seeing here is that you may have met this person at work. The Hermit card is Virgo energy, so it's somebody you probably see day to day in your life. Okay, so why is the Three of Swords here? And look at what happened. That literally fell out. Knight of Emotions. So that is a very romantic love offering coming in. And look at this. Look at this energy. Round and round, Knight of Emotions. Remember, knights come and go. They may leave their, their heart under a hoof print because they're coming in and out. So this is sort of like a never-ending story, right? This is just con going to continue on in this path at the, at the time that we're having this reading. All right, so why is the Fool card here? The Fool card is clarified by the Fool reversed, no new beginning, and we have the Strength card reversed. So that's Leo energy. The Fool card is, of course, Aquarius energy. But when we have Strength reversed, it's really questioning whether the relationship can go the distance. The Fool card reverse means no new beginning. So you're not going to leave each other behind, but this is really showing a period of time when it's just, it's just not what it seems, to be perfectly honest. So it looks like it's one way for one person and possibly another way for another person. All right, so Pisces, let's see how you're, let's clarify the strength card for you reversed. Why is the strength card reversed here for Pisces? Why is the strength card reversed here in this reading for our Pisces friend? What, it, what, what does it mean for them? Six of voices, feeling as though you have to move away from this person, feeling as though you might have carried them or they may have carried you. But look at this. This is very tricky because there are three spikes and this person is at the end of basically a hand. So one person may have a great deal of authority over the other. Because look at this. One person's larger than life, right? Lions aren't taller than pyramids. And now we have one person feeling diminished and at risk. And when we look at the Emperor card, that's very much a card of taking charge and somebody in authority. So if you work with this person or you um, work, work with this person collaborating in a work environment, it really is going to throw the relationship into, you know, some sort of very difficult energy. Like both of you may be wanting to leave and feeling as though you can't. Uh, and yet not really wanting to leave. All right, why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here for our beautiful Pisces? Oh, look at this, Page of Inspiration, Page of Wands. Your person wants you to be more fiery, more passionate. They feel as though you've just, you. they feel as though you burned them. Pisces, they feel as though you burned them. Look at this, her hair is on fire. 
and she's all dre she's dressed in black like somebody who would creep in and out so interesting energy why Pisces does your person see you as really unhappy because we have four of, a cu four of cups this person's unhappy five of cups this is where she's actively knocking over the cups of love why is this person active actively Pisces why are you why does your person perceive you to be throwing their love away Three of Swords. Okay, so there we go. Three of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, so Pisces, if you're in a third party situation, you're not having it. That's what the cards say to me. It really shows that, you know, the, the Six of Emotions, the Six of Cups is down here again. You got the two of you are soulmates, but Pisces, you do not want to go round and round. You don't want things that are false gold, you know. Um, the Knight of Voices it is clarifying the Knight of Cups. You want clarity. You want honesty. This can be vice versa. I'm going to say that for the Cross Watchers. It's energy that's flowing back and forth. All right. The Wheel of Fortune is clarifying the present time. The two of you are having almost a bout of good luck. And it does look like your person of interest, Pisces, really tries to come in and make the relationship better. The Queen of Emotions, though, the Queen of Cups reversed, is they think that you're being too emotional. They think that you're overreacting. Um, let's see what else we have. The High Priestess says that, ooh, you're being quiet. You don't want to talk to this person. You're feeling, look at this. She's holding her hand up going, you know what? I know what the truth is. I know where reality lies. And I'm not going to get what I want in this situation. And I'm not going to pretend either. I'm heartbroken. I will kick over the cups. I will start again. And this is how your person sees you. They see you as, you know, that you're not taking night energy. You want a king or you want an emperor. They presented themselves as an emperor to you or you did to them. But what we devolved from emperor energy into knight energy and then into page energy. So let's see what else is going on with this reading. Okay, Pisces. Beautiful Pisces. Okay. What is the Ten of Cups? Why is it here? This is a marriage card. The King of Swords. Ooh, Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy, trying to make a head over heart decision can be very cold. Why is that King of Swords energy coming in on top of this Ten of Cups? Now, Pisces, if this person, if this third party situation, if this Ten of Cups is the energy, if it's not the energy between you and your person, but it's the energy of the obstacle between you and your person, which could be a marriage, um, then the King of Swords is really a, a logical card. So is this Ten of Cups for our Pisces friends, is this emotion, this mutual emotion or this mutual energy all about Pisces and their person being in love? Yes, it is. Six of materials. Six of coins, coins, you can take that to the bank. But the Seven of Coins tells us that we don't know whether there's enough here to make an investment and oh, look at this. That's why the King of Swords is coming in. The King of Swords is here to say, you know what? I'm going to figure out if this is worth the investment because otherwise I'm, I'm tired of this. It's just too heartbreaking and I'm going to kick over the cups and start fresh over here. Okay. So with the Fool card. Okay. So why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Queen of Voices. Okay, that's, I thought it. So we have the King of Voices and the Queen of Voices. So the energy that I see between the two of you, it was hidden that both of you were making sort of this very detached, Aquarius, logical, you know, I'm going to go with facts, not what appears to be the case. And I don't know if I'm going to invest in this because it looks like there's a marriage and family. And it looks like the queen comes along and um, six of emotions makes a decision to move away, move away from the relationship. The six of swords is, well, I'm calling the Uber and I'm going home because I'm packing this in. 
All right, so let's see what the six, ex, I'm so sorry, I apologize. The six of emotions is a six of cups, which is a six of cups, I apologize. I was looking at that as a six of voices. Erase, erase. The, the queen of swords is still looking at the situation, still values the situation, okay? Why is the Queen of Swords looking at the King of Swords? Because that's how the two of you are coming up. You both might have either Venus or Mercury and Aquarius too, and that would also explain this. The Hanged Man, see, you're not ready to make a decision. You're not ready to give up on the relationship, even though you're upset, even though you think, I don't even know whether I should be investing in this. The Six of Cups does say that you hold on. Why is the Justice card here for our beautiful Pisces friends? Why is the Justice card here for Pisces? Why is the Justice card here for Pisces? I'm going to take this one. It's stuck on top. There's a blockage. Oh, the lover's card. No wonder. You are soulmates. You have two sets of soulmate cards. Well, you actually have three soulmate cards. You have the lover's card, the six of cups twice, and the two of cups. And I want to say that two of cups was in another place also, but I can't, can't remember. Okay. So it's a very, you just can't really let go. I'm, and that's why we have the round and round. Why is a round and round card here for us? Yep, the Ace of Emotions. Every time you start to pull back from each other, it's like, oh, I just want my lover back. You know, it looks like she's just really in a dark place, in dark waters, very troubled. Every time she tries to start something new, she, a generic feminine energy that's just saying, I just want what I want, and it's all I want. And I don't want to have my heart broken again. And I don't know if I'm ready to start over again. I'm not sure that I can, I'm can. i ready to love again, but I so want it. All right, let's see what is all that, what is uh, the gold that glitters or appears to? Why is that card here? Why is gold glitters here? Why is all that glitters here? Why is it all that glitters here? Okay, these cards are stuck. I'm going to take them. Okay, Ace of Inspiration, Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, Ace of Cups, Emotional, Heartfelt New Beginning, the Moon card, Pisces, you have shown up in the house, Pisces Energy. You know, you have some secrets, Pisces, that are not being revealed. The Queen of Inspiration is, you know, the, the very fiery Queen Energy, so you may be dealing with the um, energy of an Aries, okay? So Aries energy is coming in. So you have a very fiery passion, and look at this, Ten of Emotions, Ten of Cups again. So this is the two of you. I have to confirm that. Now, I still think that, the, that somebody's married, and I still think that a lot of this energy of uh, wanting to just break loose from the darkness of loving somebody in a third party situation is overwhelming. Okay. I don't see the two of you parting ways though. It feels very much like you can't let go of each other. What is the energy? Why is the moon card here? What is the moon hiding? What is the moon hiding for our Pisces friends? What is the truth behind the moon? And take these cards. There's a lot of them though. The tower card. It, tower card justice. Ooh, again, we have two justice cards. Two of wands, inspiration. So what's hidden beneath the surface here is that if somebody doesn't take action and and initiate some sort of end to a third party situation, then what's going to happen is there's going to be a tower moment. Why is this beautiful, beautiful little summer home on the water? So why is this beautiful treasure island here? What does treasure island signify in this reading, please, for Pisces? What does this beautiful treasure island mean? Four of inspiration, four of wands. Both of you really want to be married to each other. You at least want a minimum of stability. And I'm going to look at your destiny cards. So right now I see a third party situation, two lovers who are soulmates, 
that are really struggling in a third party situation who love each other and want with one another what appears to be the case for one party that what uh, the glitter that is you know is okay this card all that glitters is not gold means that the person who is married appears to have a happy relationship so if you look at facebook oh la 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 everything looks great but it's it's not it's fake okay spiritual symbol oh my gosh that's the spiritual symbol just you can't buy into the fake fake news right whether it's facebook or somewhere else have hope there are children involved but there is a reunion and it really looks as though the spiritual symbol really tells me that the children will be protected trust for the children oh paradise oh my word i wonder if you'll buy a house on an island or if you'll buy a special a special home in a, an exotic location that was really fun let's look at spirit cat for you let's see what the spirit cat message is for our beautiful pisces spirit cat i might be able to only read the end of this i don't know these are really quite lengthy uh, okay here we go adventure okay look at this cute kitty okay adventure meet lion mew he is an adventurer an explorer a traveler and a seeker of lost worlds he likes to feel the wind rippling his fur and the excitement of not quite knowing what might he might discover next it is time to leave the safe havens of your comfy home and routine to seek out distant shores and unknown lands widen your circle of experience and step into a different point of view distance and diversity gives us a shift of perspective home never looks the same after that remember that the journey outward illuminates the journey inward live your life as a grand adventure thanks pisces talk to you soon hope to see you soon bye-bye